Hey guys, so today I'm trying something new. Um, I'm going to try doing a cooking video. So today I'm making fried mahi mahi with potatoes and carrots, ginger carrots. Um, right now I have my potatoes boiling and my mahi mahi is sitting here in the sink thawing. And I've got my carrots over here. So I'm going to pull. We'll say just one carrot for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. And I'm gonna wash my carrot off. And then I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna chop the ends off of my carrot. Peel my carrot. Now this carrot's gonna sit here and boil for a minute after we peel it. My potatoes have been boiling for a minute, so they're probably about ready. So my carrot's nice and peeled, and I'm going to take this pot. This is uh, called corningware. It's very, um, it's a very nice pot and very easy to burn stuff in, as I found out. So we're going to set this pot up here. I'm going to take this baby out of the picture for a minute, and we're going to chop our carrot up into small discs. Let's see if I can get a perfect one. So we're gonna put them in discs about this big, but like that wide. So I've got my carrots. Now we're gonna put them into our pot. Okay. See, there's our carrots. Let me see if I can. There we go. Sorry, I'm filming on my laptop, so it's going to be kind of hard. So now we're going to fill this pot up with water. Um, I'm going to go into our laundry room to get water because our water is in there. But y'all can use sink water, that's fine. Just as long as it's easy to boil.
turn this on to high. And we're going to boil that. I throw salt in my, um, whenever I boil in my pot. Because it helps it boil, but you don't have to. It just takes it a little bit longer to start boiling. So we're just going to put a nice bit of that in there. And if you ever want to know how you how to uh, tell if your potatoes are done, take a fork, just stick them in your potatoes. If they break apart real easy, that means they're done. <laughs> now my potatoes are um, my potatoes are breaking apart, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find a strainer. And I'm gonna take my potatoes and dump them in the strainer. And we're gonna turn our oven or our stove down to about right under medium. And we're gonna do that. I'm going to pull my mahi-mahi out of my sink since my sink is about to get really full. And what we're going to do is we're going to take butter. I can just use the same knife. It's not going to hurt anything. And we're going to take a good amount of butter and we're going to put it into our pot. Let that melt, and then let's see here. I guess we could do creamer. Um, I would do regular milk if you have it, or if you don't, it's fine. But just pour just a little bit. Don't pour too much. Because then your uh, potatoes will become too creamy. And you'll just be wasting valuable ingredients. There we go. And then we're going to take our masher gonna mash our potatoes because me personally I'm making mashed potatoes but there's a million of ways you can make potatoes all you have to do is just google it and google will give you a, about 10 or 15 good ways to make your potatoes potatoes are mashed I'm gonna turn my uh, my stove on to very very low so that my potatoes don't fry like burn and so that we can make our fish now for the fun part the fish so I'm gonna I'm first gonna rinse my hands off and then I'm going to grab two bowls. Two shallow bowls. Okay, and then we're going to do one with flour 
and whatever spice, and the other one with eggs. So I'm using organic uh, white rice flour. Um, generally, you would use um, <laughs> excuse me, you would use um, all-purpose flour, but I don't think we have all-purpose flour. And then I'm just gonna take. We're gonna put. I think that should be enough. I'm using the one third cup measuring cup, and I just put one scoop onto my plate. And then I am taking a spike. But you don't have to. Um, there's also a million and one different um, spices you can use. It all depends on the type of flavor you're looking for. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a teaspoon. I'm going to just sprinkle that in there. Cap this. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm taking uh, extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to pour it into the bottom of my pan so that when it comes time for frying it's pretty easy and our oil is already hot and you just have to fry that. Next creamer since I don't have milk and I'm going to grab my eggs. I'm using all organic uh, Pete and Jerry's eggs. You don't have to. Um, it's just better for your health and all that. I'm just going to crack about two of these into the plate, maybe three, depending on how much yolk or how much uh, egg I have in there. And then once I have my eggs, I'm going to take my creamer. Take the same fork that I tested our potatoes with since I don't think it's dirty. And I'm gonna just mix it up. So for our oil, I would say turn it on medium. We're just going to sit here and we're going to make sure that it's looking very nice. And you want it to be kind of a yellow, light yellow uh, color. going to take this spoon, the same spoon I used to uh, grab the spike with, 
Na mana. Just lightly mix it around until it's evenly mixed. And so here is what your flower should look like. And then this one I have to be a little bit more careful with as not to break my laptop. There is kind of what your egg should look like. Then what we're going to do with the mahi mahi is we're just going to cut open the package like so. We're going to pull our fish out and we're going to rinse it really quick so that we can get off all that junk and grossness. And then after we've rinsed it, we're going to cut it. I am doing um, slices like this, um, but uh, you don't have to do them like that big, and then that's the thickness. You can do it thicker or thinner, it all depends on the amount of cooking time you want to do. I just want to put them in and pull them out. Now, by now our oil should be hot, so what, we can, what we're going to do is we're going to put our mahi-mahi in our egg first, and we're going to stick it in our flour. And then we're going to put it back in our egg so we can do another coat. We're going to put it back in our flour. Then we're going to stick it in our pan. I'm just going to do that until all of our mahi mahi is coated and in our pan. And you'll begin to smell your mahi-mahi pretty much as soon as you stick it in the pan. And fair warning, you will get messy fingers. But all you, you got to do is just work right through it. full pan of fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow them to cook. But I'm also going to flip them here very shortly. And by now our carrots should also be ready. So what we're going to do with our carrots we're going to bring them over to the sink. I'm going to take our same 
strainer that we use for our potatoes. And we're going to dump our carrots in there, make sure they're drained. I'm going to put them right back in there. And then we're going to turn our stove down to just below medium. Um, I've already done that. Now I have to go grab something really quick. I'll be right back. My father had to use our spices and I just forgot to put it back in here last night whenever I came home. Since I came in like really late, I came in about midnight last night, I think. So we're just going to put our garlic in there. And then we're going to put some more butter into our... Put some butter into our pan. I'm using uh, a spatula. You don't have to. Um, you can use a spoon or whatever. But it's easier with the uh, spatula. And all you're going to do is you're going to mix around your carrots and butter and all that. should be about ready to flip. So we're just going to flip those babies. Oh yeah. And while we wait for that side to heat up, we can do a couple more of our little fish. Now I just realized I'm about to run out of um, flour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some more flour and um, spike really quick. It's not going to take but five seconds. That's as soon as I get these babies into the pan. I 
should be about ready to pull them out here very shortly. Grab our fish. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to take our measuring cup like we did before, and we're just going to repeat the process for more flour. Go ahead and, sorry, I just got an email in. Um, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to batter up some more fish. And then Now this would be a great time to put your other side on your plate. I'm just grabbing a simple spoon to uh, put my potatoes on, my plate, and my carrots.
So at this point, um, your food should be about done. Sorry, I just burned myself. <laughs> So now I'm just going to start cleaning up. Um, I didn't exactly use everything from my um, batter mix. So I'm going to put that down in the description. Um, How much I think I actually used out of everything from that mix.
All right, y'all. Here is what your meal will kind of look like. So we're going to try our mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to do the carrots. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, now, I've never made these before, so this is <laughs> going to be my first time trying them. So we'll see. Oh my gosh. Now, when you bite into them, that's going to be what your fish looks like. It should be kind of white and flaky when you bite into your mahi-mahi. Mm. Alright guys, I'm going to go eat and I'm going to watch some TV.